My name is Randy. There we go. My name is Randy Bigley. Join me on the podcast today from Wise Chrysler. A Chrysler. That's it. I'll let you do the whole thing. Wise Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. All right. <laughs> In Upper Sandusky. <laughs> yes, sir. Upper Sandusky, Ohio. Uh, let's talk. What do you, let's talk about your, your dealership a little bit. How long have you been doing this? I've been in the business 16 years. Uh, we just purchased a store, uh, Wise and Upper, uh, back in October. First mm-hmm. week of October, we, we took over operations there, and we've been blowing and going ever since. And we talked uh, before how you, you've changed a few things there, haven't you? Yeah, we, we've changed a few things. We've uh, increased personnel to accommodate more customers. Uh, we have, instead of the normal or what they had before, we have you know, four or five technicians back there where we can get, get you in, get you out. Previously, they were scheduling oil changes, but now we have the capacity where, you know, if it's just a simple oil change, mm-hmm. there's no appointment necessary. We get you in, get you right out. You don't even have to buy the car there, right? You don't even have to buy the car. I'll make some models of welcome. No, <laughs> all right. And you said you turned to more of the service side, right? Yeah, the service has been, I think, with the inventory constraints that we have on new uh, the manufacturers are shifting to, you know, uh, more ordering of cars the way that people like. And so what we're trying to do is that's pushing people to keep their cars a little bit longer until the inventory things line out. You know, some people think prices are too high. Some people think prices are not going to fall. They don't know what their car is worth. Mm-hmm. So they're keeping their cars a little longer with the uncertainty of the economy. So we're focused more on preserving that the cars that you know people are helping to maintain them to keep them get more miles out of them sure Where they used to turn them in around 50 60 we're seeing people keeping them 70 80 thousand miles now mm-hmm. so okay. we're prepared yeah. to help you know keep those cars for the long term the cars last a lot longer than what they used to i remember when you had a car that was a hundred thousand miles it was pretty much done that's you know? it well yeah. now yeah. with the uh synthetic blend oil mm-hmm. changes the other things and lubricants that you can put into the vehicle helps them maintain them and last a little longer. So that's our goal. We're prepared to do that. So we're hoping that we can uh, assist everyone in keeping their cars a little longer if they so choose. Is Chrysler doing, are they doing any electric cars? Yeah, they have Mm -hmm. some electric cars. We do have a charging Mm -hmm. station there at the dealership. So uh, I have a mechanic that's certified to work on the hybrids and the electric vehicles. Mm -hmm. So uh, they're getting ready to come out, which I think everyone is, is uh, probably 2024, 20, 2025, 20, you'll see more electric vehicles. Mm-hmm. And so I know the uncertainty with how that's going to work, right. uh, the investment that you have to do for the home charging station. Uh, so we're preparing for people to keep the gas cars, diesels mm-hmm. a little bit longer. So that's that was our intention until they get that warm and fuzzy fizzle about uh, <laughs> the electric cars. It could, it could take a while, right? It could take a while, so... <laughs> Now, do you see people looking for hybrids these days because of gas prices or electric cars? You know, are they looking for those at all right now? Not right now. Mm-hmm. Uh, we haven't seen a, a large influx of uh, ordering mm-hmm. uh, for electric vehicles. Uh, we do have uh, some ability to order the electric Jeeps, uh, which people get a $7,500 tax incentive for okay. the following year. So. Uh, it's a lot of advantages to ordering it, but it's also some time and waiting in there. Mm-hmm. You know, you, you pay a little bit more for the vehicle, but there are some incentives. Uh, like I said, the tax savings that the uh, federal government gives on your tax return for going to a fully electric vehicle. Really? Okay. So they're giving, yeah. they're giving some breaks out there. Yeah, they're giving some, some tax incentives, but, yeah. you know, you, you have to justify that incentive mm-hmm. as... You know, do I want to break on the taxes? Is it worth paying this much for a vehicle? The uncertainty of the maintenance and all that. So we're prepared to to accommodate if they do so choose to order an electric vehicle. Yeah, because we're really in the early stages of electric cars. Exactly, exactly. We haven't went full-blown Tesla yet. Yeah, we haven't. <laughs> Maybe like in 2025 or something, yeah, right? Yeah, by the end, we'll probably be flying cars. So. <laughs> Was the gas prices affected you guys much at all over there? Not not yeah. really. Uh, I think the, the way that these gas prices are increasing on mm-hmm. the daily, uh, some people, we have seen some people come in and trade out of the bigger SUVs to get a smaller, more compact, sure, right. fuel-efficient car. But the incremental, I think it's the incremental stages that the gas prices are doing. I mean, they are high, don't get me wrong, but I think it was incremental 
mm-hmm. as to how they got this high. It wasn't like a wake up in the morning is two dollars more a gallon. Right, right. So I think it. A lot of people have eased into mm-hmm. the situation. Don't like it, but yeah. they have eased into it a little bit. So it, it really haven't affected sales that much. But you know, if you go and look, a lot of the cars that we have on a lot are more fuel efficient. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it, it shows some savings when people are trying to upgrade or or if they're trying to downgrade for fuel efficiency. I was gonna say, yeah, their cars are a lot more fuel efficient than they used mm-hmm. to be. I mean, exactly. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, I mean, you know, you got those. Uh, you know the the technology now. If you buy an eight cylinder, mm-hmm. it's it it shuts itself down to six when mm-hmm. you're you know in certain cruise modes, certain levels yeah. of RPM. So with with that technology that we have in like the trucks and the the wagoners and the jeeps, mm-hmm. it it it's still expensive to fill it up, but it's not as expensive to drive if that makes any sense. My car does it where you stop and it shuts off. Yeah, and and those yeah, tech yeah. that technology is yeah. actually not as bad as like when 2008 came and all those yeah. Tahoes and expeditions were getting, you know, right. getting turned in because that was no, that was nothing you could do with it. It was, yeah. you know, you were getting 12, 13 miles to the gallon right. and it was costing you 200 bucks to fill up. And now right. Right. it still costs you 200 bucks, but yeah. you're getting, you know, 16, 17 miles to the gallon. So yeah. it's lasting a little longer. Best thing I ever did was get a newer car with more for fuel efficient. That's it. That's <laughs> what we encourage everyone yeah. to do is yeah. if you're not going to go electric, the best thing to do is upgrade to more fuel efficient cars that has the technology to preserve your gas mileage. Sure. Uh, financing available out there at Wise? Yes, we have over 25 lenders that we, we, we make them fight for your business. I mean, we don't take the... The first approval that we get, we, we make them fight for it. You know, that's that's the thing. That's another thing. Uh, as gas prices uh, go up, you know, now's the time to to relook at some of your interest rates. You sure. Know, if yeah. some people had eight percent, let me qualify for six, um, and it's an opportunity to get more car at less money. So. The upgrade right now is is that you have an advantage with the interest rates the way they are now. They are going up a little bit, so we, you know, strongly encourage everyone to take advantage of it because eventually they're going to get back to where they were higher. But right now we have several customers that are, you know, didn't get leather or sunroof that are now getting both, and note is still being reduced by twenty five dollars a month, so they're getting more car. Right. Better fuel efficiency, and they're saving money. Right. Uh, anything else you want to add before we go? Just come see us at Wise. We, we, we'll be happy to see you. All right. Thank you so much, Lord. Yeah, thank you. All right. There you go. How was that? Oh, perfect, buddy. Okay. That was perfect. <laughs> that was perfect. That was perfect. That's it. That's it. Thank you so much. Thank you, man. I appreciate, I appreciate it. it. Always a pleasure. Same here. Thank you so much. All right. Have a good one. Now. You too. Okay.